Hello, my name is Sebastian Mölschlag and I am product manager for the Brachytherapy implant portfolio of Eckert & Ziegler Babic. Today I am pleased to be showing you some troubleshooting for our isocord system. There are two major rules to follow when using isocord. First, the use of force is not required. Second, never turn the isocord C-chain too far back into the magazine. First error, the isocord C-chain does not move out of the magazine. First possible reason, you have used an empty magazine by mistake, please insert a magazine loaded with seats. Second reason, you have turned the knob in the direction magazine instead of the direction needle. Third reason, the opening on the magazine is not correctly aligned with the magazine holder. Remove the magazine and check whether the seat chain was damaged when you were trying to move it. If the seat chain is intact, please reinsert the magazine. If the seat chain still does not move out of the magazine, you need to thread it in manually. Remove the magazine and use the screwdriver to unlock the transport locking device. To do this, place the screwdriver in the hole at the bottom right of the magazine and push it down to the right. Keeping the screwdriver in this position, turn the knob counterclockwise in the direction marked needle until the C-chain produces about 2 cm out of the opening on the magazine. Pass the 2 cm long C-chain through the socket on the magazine holder and insert the magazine. Fourth reason, the end of the C-chain is damaged. Solve this problem by cutting off the damaged end of the C-chain. To do this, move the C-chain out of the magazine manually until the first undamaged spacer is fully protruding from the opening on the magazine. Remove the screwdriver and place the magazine to one side. Next, grab the damaged C-chain end with the tweezers and use the scissor to cut through the first undamaged spacer. Turn the knob clockwise in the direction marked magazine until the end of the C-chain is flush with the magazine holder and insert the magazine back into the needle loading station. Fifth reason. The C-chain drive is faulty. To repair it, use the screwdriver to loosen the screws on the repair flap and remove the flap with the tweezers. Grab the end of the C-chain with the tweezers and pull it taut. If the end of the C-chain is not visible, you can turn the knob counterclockwise in the direction marked needle until it appears in the viewer. Turn the knob counterclockwise in the direction marked needle and move the C-chain out of the magazine opening and the socket on the magazine holder. Use the tweezers to pass the C-chain along the inside top edge of the magazine. When you have finished moving the chain out of the magazine, turn the knob in the direction marked magazine, supporting the chain by using tweezers to hold the end of the chain firmly against the spacer. Another possible problem. The C-chain does not move into the positioning unit. The C-chain can be moved out of the socket on the magazine holder, but cannot be threaded into the guide system on the positioning unit. This error is often caused by advancing the C-chain too far out of the magazine before moving the magazine holder into the isocord position. This causes the C-chain to snag at the opening on the positioning unit. The damaged end of the C-chain must be removed. To do this, move the C-chain out of the magazine manually until the first undamaged spacer is fully protruding from the socket on the magazine holder. Next. Grasp the damaged end with the tweezers and use the scissors to cut through the center of the undamaged spacer. Another possible problem, the cutoff section of the C-chain sticks in the positioning unit. A cutoff section of the C-chain cannot be moved towards the needle inside the guide system of the positioning unit using a stylet. The stuck section of the C-chain must be retracted and removed. Move the magazine holder to stylet position and remove the implantation needle. 
pass the stylet of one needle through the needle holder into the guide system on the positioning unit and carefully retract the seat chain section until it produced from the opening on the cutting system. Use the tweezers to remove the seat chain section from the guide system on the positioning unit. If the section is intact, you can continue to use it and insert it manually into the needle. Damaged sections must not be reused. Please see the user manual for more information on isocord.